Welcome to Life of an Architect. My name's Tyler, and I'm an architectural designer in California. I'm going to be showing you what I do every day from the view of my computer screen. I decided to start this channel to answer one simple question. What does an architect do? Most of the people I meet outside of the construction industry don't really know or understand the job of an architect. Some people might have a general idea, like architects draw blueprints, right? Architects design houses, right? Architects are really good at math, right? Well, yes and no. This is only a small part of what we really do. Architects create designs for new construction projects and renovations of existing buildings. Contrary to popular belief, most of us don't design houses, or at least very few do that, but I'll explain the reasons why in another video. So what exactly do I do on a day-to-day -day basis? That depends on the project and the phase that the project is in at that time. Most architectural projects follow a sequence of phases that make up the whole duration of the project. From beginning to end, it goes like this. Schematic design, design development, construction documents, and construction administration. As you can tell from my computer screen, I'm using a program called Revit to create my drawings right now. Revit is also where we make those cool 3D models that you see used for renderings, VR walkthroughs, and much more. In later videos, I'll show you how I use Revit in this way too, but for today, I'll be mostly drawing in 2D line work. So the project I'm working on today is called Sequoia Quartz Housing, and although it has the word housing in it, it's still a commercial type of project. This is because there's a local housing authority in charge of all the residential units on the site. My client for this project is that local housing authority. They hire my firm as the architect to renovate these apartments based on multiple factors. It could be upgrades requested from the client, regulations from the state, or any number of reasons. Since these are apartments, we don't go in for things like individual kitchen upgrades unless the housing authority wants to renovate them for every apartment. This project is in the schematic design phase right now, which means we're laying the foundation for the project. Not a literal foundation, but defining the scope of work, project requirements, and the client's goals for the project. This project involves us to renovate some units on site for accessibility, meaning that a person in a wheelchair needs to be able to live and have access to the same things in a way that an able-bodied person would. We're also adding laundry facilities, a playground, and a new community building that'll be used for multiple functions. As for right now, I'm laying out the site by drawing where all the buildings are first. I've already drawn the boundaries for the site, like the roads and sidewalks. I can do this by looking at record drawings from when these apartments were first built, which in this case happens to be back in 1979. I also look at Google Maps to see if anything is off from the record drawings, but for a more accurate layout, we'll often hire a civil engineer to go out and survey the site to give us more exact locations of everything. For this stage in the project, I only need the general location of everything to create a site plan. This will be shown to the city planning and development department for a process called site plan review or SPR for short. Here they will look over our proposal to see if what we plan to do with the project meets certain codes and regulations. After this initial review, they'll give us comments for things we need to add or change about the project before we start getting into really designing things. This is like a first check to see if we're on the right track before going too far with the design. To get this drawing ready for site plan review, I'm taking the layout of the existing buildings on site and tracing over them to get a rough idea of their shape and size. I'll use this as a base and add labels, callouts, and add more descriptive text later. For this first video, I just wanted to explain where this base drawing was coming from and why I was doing it. 
In a later video, I'll show you what the finished drawing looks like and the steps it took me to get there. If you want to see more of what an architect does on a daily basis, go ahead and like this video, and leave a comment down below, and let me know what else you want to see. Also feel free to ask me any questions about either the job of an architect or how to become an architect if you're interested in doing this one day. Until then, I'm Tyler, and this has been a day in the life of an architect. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.